How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? And can you believe it? A video on a Monday. I am joined again by two beautiful people, JCC Jonathan and Henry Hill. H H H. What's your middle name? I'm not going to say. Okay. 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 There you go. It, it would, I get called posh anyway. I can, <laughs> if I reveal my middle name on camera. Okay. <laughs> the, comment, the comments will kill me. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you can see by the title of this video, we're going for an evergreen one. One. That in you know it takes the entire of football history into account to a degree anyway um now look me and the guys have selected our best player in every single position of all time um now i want to put in mention for my one now it doesn't have to be the same for theirs i haven't <coughs> included some players that i've never seen before mm. um or from donkeys ago who are considered very very good uh, but for me it's hard to put them in when I just don't really know and I've never seen it with my own eyes. And football's a lot mm. different to it is then. Not to say that they're a bad player or they're, you know, their accolades mean anything less because they've done incredible things. But I'm sure we'll get onto that you were as saying, we go. You were saying off camera, weren't you, that Pele was bang average. Yeah, yeah. you were. Yeah. Pele's yeah. a farmer. And that's why he's just... Pele's a farmer, set. mate. Yeah. He, um, yeah. Sc he was scoring goals you against said, you, you called farmers. Maradona a poor man's Messi, didn't you, as well? Yeah, <laughs> that's, those are exactly my words. <laughs> my exact <laughs> words. Maradona, poor man's Messi. Um, we'll get onto that because there's, a, there's someone... There was an interesting comment about Maradona made, I think, on uh, by Tom Garrett. Um, right. We'll get onto that maybe later on. Uh, but firstly, I think before we get into this, quickly, is football harder now than it was back in the day? Um, it's it's kind of impossible to quantify. Uh, no, there's more available to footballers these days. I'm going to say it's easier now to perform at a higher level Are consistently. You... Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. Really? You would, you, would, so. you would look at it and say the level of professionalism has only continued to go up and up. Yeah. But at the same time, that's been matched by the sports science that has come with it. So these are these are now hyper-conditioned athletes. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I've, that said, like I'm still not going to take anything away from some of these older players who... Some of their achievements. Indeed. And yeah. All, 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 yeah, also like, they used to, be, it used to be a lot more equal. I guess it used to be... I guess it used to be like two equal teams like breaking each other down, whereas now there's sort of like hyper teams and yeah. like mm. less less teams, which kind of warp, more warps the way that football's played, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, I think it's fair enough. I think it's very good, very very well put, lads. Um, <laughs> all right, then let's kick these things off. Then let's start in goal. Uh, John, who have you got? Oh, for I don't want to start. Okay, so this is like my favourite team, right? These are players that I think. That's fine. I think are this absolutely is... incredible what they do and revolutionise the game. Okay. Of what they do. So I'm starting off with Manuel Neuer for me. Okay. I'd, I've never seen I remember it was like when I was growing up watching Neuer I just thought what's <clears> he doing all the time with his feet <laughs> Where's he, he's coming out into the, into the back line he's playing out he can also obviously save a ball he's massive Manuel Neuer in his prime for me I just think he changed goalkeeping and I, I loved yeah. him I, I loved him I think what's interesting as well about these conversations is when you kind of get to this level when you were talking about the best players of all time it kind of is like just personal preference. Of course, yeah. I think about where, like, who would I want to play with? Yeah, I'm playing centre mid. Who do I want my keeper to be in his prime? For, exactly. Or, 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 and, it, and it's monster. also sometimes a little bit of like, ah, oh, kind of like, oh, when you were younger and you were watching this player. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. they have a little bit more of like a history to you. I'm not yeah. going to say Petr Cech, Don't worry. Because um, <laughs> for, for me... Go on. It's Ike Casillas. Fair. Um, yeah, that was my best He up. is my, like, in terms of goalkeeping heroes... I've never enjoyed watching a goalkeeper play, like playing goal. Like I would spend, there was, because there was a couple of seasons where I played in goal in real, in real life um, <laughs> as well. And I remember I would spend like months watching YouTube Casillas. highlights of Casillas and yeah. being like, Do you not and, and they are the best highlights, man. Some of them are outrageous. Are and the ones where it's like, it's like a two on one and he is, pulling off the most outrageous saves in the world was also pretty not manual neuer levels with his feet or yeah. edison levels with his feet but good do you think good as well. is obviously not the health stuff is in, but yeah. do you think the fall off from real madrid quite early sort of damaged his reputation because he was you there for so long he was there from young right but he did he leave it he's got a left at like 30 yeah 29? yeah which is actually kind of when they say like goalkeepers Gold? i think maybe a little bit older 31 32 i think maybe? he was yeah it was it was early 30s felt like it was I mean, early. he, he stepped but up it's at still 18 quite a thing for a goalkeeper he stepped at 18 yeah, yeah. he became a galactico which is so impressive yes, captain yeah. of the side like won the world cup euros million champions leagues I also do think Neuer is a good shout. I, for me, I'm going Kithias. Well, it's interesting. Kithias. I had Petr Cech at number three, 
because I think he's the best Premier League keeper I've seen. Mm. I think Allison could be. He, I, I think, think Allison a... may eventually take the. Uh, yeah, help. yeah, it I, is I agree. I mean, five years from now, Yashin is the answer. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> technically, it will cat. It will cat. As isn't you it? say, I, yeah. <laughs> as you say, I've never really seen him play. But yes, I, I am. Literally was going to decide in the moment. I had Ika Casillas and Manuel Neuer. Ooh. I am going to go with Manuel Neuer. Come on! I think, I think you're, no! you're right. Like to still, still even to have it. come back from a horrific skiing accident, to still be good. He was when Germany won the World Cup. He was their best player. Yeah. He is the closest a goalkeeper has been to winning the Ballon d'Or in <laughs> in years and years. Like I think mm. maybe peak Buffon yeah. in, in uh, at Juventus. And you're right. Growing up. Casillas was my favourite keeper. Oh, I, love him I, loved, I loved him. Yeah. But I think for longevity, consistency, and yeah, like his ability to run out, play out from the back, like that game against Algeria at the World Cup. Yeah, 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 classic, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, amazing. And I, I, and I know like, I get people go, oh, South Korea, look what he did in that game. But Germany, I mean, the German national team is on its arse anyway. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it is. So, yeah, for me, it's Neuer. I just think, as you say, it reflexes mm. unlike anything I've seen. Wow. Okay. All right. Manuel Neuer in goal for us. Uh, right back then. Um, I don't mind kicking it off. I've actually gone for Neuer's teammate. Uh, Have you? I went for Philip Lahm. Okay. Um, now, I actually thought a little bit about Trent. But I was like, it's too early. It's too he's early. Like, he's like 18, isn't he? It's too early. <laughs> I was like, it's too <laughs> early. And like, he maybe... Get, he doesn't get picked for England, right? Maybe, right? yeah. Okay. So maybe like not yet. Maybe not yet. For a little while. Uh, I think I thought about it. Um, there are other names as well out there. But I think for me, Manuel Neuer, I think one of the most interesting quotes ever said was by Pep Guardiola, where he said, there was, there was two. If you give me um, 10 Manuel Neuer, uh, if you give me 10 Philip Lahms, I'll win the league. Uh, and it was also about Philip Lahm can basically play any position mm. on the entire pitch. Mm. Uh, and he can do it to an unbe unbelievable degree. Now, this is a guy that played DM, but for the most of his career, played right back. And was someone who I don't think was appreciated enough because he obviously was at Bayern for his for how long he was. I didn't maybe step into the Premier League, didn't step into La Liga. Um, and obviously for a long time, I think it's changed a little bit now, but for a long time, but the, the Bundesliga was very much considered the league of... of you know, it's it's a farmer's league. Bayern are going to win it every single season. And they obviously did a very good job at that. His mm. accolades speak for themselves. 22 trophies, obviously, including uh, the World Cup and obviously numerous Bundesliga, Champions Leagues as well. Um, but just someone who I think, maybe not necessarily the, the kind of traditional right back nowadays of like bombing forward as well, mm. but was pretty good going forward. Mm. Super strong passing, great defensive player as well. Yeah. Um, so for me, Philippe Lahm. I've gone for Cafu. Um, I think... I can understand. So this is where my thing of like, I'd never experienced Cafu really. I, I like Philip Lahm. He's obviously a, an all-time great. But if you just listen to what Cafu achieved, he played at AC Milan, you know, this is pre lull period mm. of AC Milan, until he was 38. Two Serie A's. He won the World Cup twice and also came runner-up once. He won two Copa Americas and he was named... Uh, South American Player of the Year uh, in 1994. For a defender to do that, I think, mm. in South America is incredible. And he's the most capped Brazilian ever on 143 caps. And you can, we could, we could do a whole show just talking. We could just each say a Brazilian name who's cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Feel like a 50, yeah. a 50 minute show. <laughs> Cafu is that guy. I think, I think he set a standard because right back used to be like, you know, you know. That, there's that famous quote about Gary Neville. Oh, you don't want to be a Gary Neville. Yeah, right yeah. I think Cafu made being a right back cool. For and sure. I think he raised the expectations of what they can do in a side. And yeah, seems like a really nice bloke as well. So yeah, for, just me, remember... for me, it's him. <clears throat> so who have you gone for first, John? You want me to just go for it now? Yeah, yeah, go on. Very similar. I've gone uh, Cafu. Yeah. So we decided it. We, we've so got I, the same team. I, I was going to say, <laughs> I'm happy to change the Cafu because I was just thinking now, like, I don't see. I don't. Like, I was not young when I was younger. I wasn't watching AC Milan week in week out. Or like the, it wasn't. I didn't yeah. have access to that for one. Um, but I do remember playing like FIFA Street, of course, and, yeah. and like FIFA, and you know, you might be at, when like the Champions League was on ITV, um, and you catching them there. And I always, remember, I do actually remember Cathal and FIFA being like, oh, sorry, FIFA Street, just being quite cool yeah. and like iconic. And so I can understand that. I just think. I'd, I've watched a lot more Philip Lahm to give mm. that kind of position. But, and also, if we're talking about guests, I think the whole point about making right back call cool 
and like being an attacking right back as well. And uh, he does have a nice kind of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, highlight reel of of solid goals as well. Yeah. Uh, I can I can agree, Steve Cafu. I can agree. Do you know what it is with Cafu? Is like when, it, when you think right back, it's the first thing I think. That's really? basically where I've gone with this team. It's vibes and achievements <laughs> yeah, where yeah. I'm like, when I think of a right back, I think Cafu. Who's the first Straight thing away. that comes to your head? Cafu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm happy with Cafu. I'm happy with Cafu. Now, I'm being quite. I'm being quite vigilant on this, by the way. Right centre back, not just okay. centre back who might play on the left and go on the right. Right centre back. Um, I'll let you kick it off, John. Right centre. You have to be so strict with it. Uh, I'll let you say a name. It's fine. I've gone for Sergio Ramos. Um, I think we probably all got Sergio Ramos. If not, ball knowledge is. Sergio Ramos. This table. We do. Sergio Ramos. I love him. I just absolutely like. I still get fed five times a day. Ramos and Pepe <laughs> reels on Instagram of them just clattering through people in the league, and I that for me is what you want. He can score. He it, you could play Ramos in midfield. I honestly believe you could play. Yeah, him. He's, he's, just, the emperor, yeah. he's just a ridiculous footballer yeah. and he's got everything you'd want to send about to have and if yeah. I was playing in front of him I'd be like oh I'm safe that, that's great 28 trophies scary I mean, uh, other names that kind of like there are other names like Barese but yeah. again yeah, tough bit, for you yeah, need to Cannavaro, sit here and be yeah. like oh, uh, Cannavaro I think played on the right I think or was he left I think he played on the right but anyway you know, another one really, who's yeah. a fantastic uh, fantastic centre back um, there was Ricardo Cavallio that people uh, I'd kind of put it in a Discord that people mentioned. I was oh, like, was that, Chelsea, right. was that Chelsea Discord? He's not, or? He's not quite. That's not quite. Right. Um, <laughs> Centre back of all time. Uh, but he was, he was all right. Um, yes, I think Rio Ferdinand was mentioned. Um, and Fair thought, shout, yeah. You know, he was obviously very, very good. A very, very good centre back through his day. Bobby Moore. What do you want me to do? Uh, <laughs> I can't know enough about Bobby Moore, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do agree. Sergio Ramos takes it uh, very easily. The guy. Just the modern one of the first modern day centre backs, like what we look at now in a centre back, guy that can play out with from the back. Obviously, he was originally a right back as well at times. Mm, yeah. Um was, was he not brought into Real Madrid as a right back? Yes, from Seville. Yeah. I think the best centre backs mostly can play left back or right back yeah. on their sides, and that will lead me on to my next one as well quite well. I feel like if you can play you have to be able to play across different All positions. Right. That's where I think Rio Ferdinand or stuff, I'm like, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. I'm happy to to, to take I don't want that. to start. I'm just, Well, I th judging on what you've said, and I can see yours, I've got Maldini. Yeah. Uh, yeah. down as Alright, if you've got Maldini, I'm gonna go for my other one. Cause nine hundred and one appearances by AC Milan. <laughs> 77 goal involvements. I think that part of that comes from playing right back, as you said, because he did sort of split. But yeah. Five European Cups. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He's seven, a... seven, seven Serie A titles. World Cup runner up. But Maldini was like. Thing is, you could go Cannavaro. He did win the. Sorry, he did win the Ballon d'Or. You swear? That's fine. Isn't it? Oh, I don't normally swear. I don't know what came over me. Something came to me. Um, but yeah, Maldini, I just think, beautiful man. Beautiful footballer, an Italian. There's something about that peak Italian era football, which is. Just Do you think it's harsh then, though? Because like, a centre back wins the Ballon d'Or, like that doesn't happen. I think the other closest Virgil was very close. Who I've, I've got down as maybe a suggestion. Yeah, he um, a shout. Virgil Van Dijk, who obviously nearly won the Ballon d'Or, kind of are winning the Ballon d'Or, winning the World Cup. Um, obviously doing great, great things. But I think probably compared to longevity, Maldini's up there. The other one I want to suggest. Maybe a little bit biased. JT. I knew you were going to come with that. John Terry. Now, I want to tell you, kind of part of the reason I su support Chelsea, but also played defence, was because of John Terry. Obviously, things happened off the field, which, yeah, definitely took away from him. But as a footballer, as a centre-back, he was outrageous. Mm. Like, ability on the ball, not just with his right foot, with his left foot. Uh, right foot is centre-back, playing left centre-back. In, unbelievable in the air incredible from uh, corners like I think he is the highest scoring centre back if, of the Premier League maybe of all time I think he is but I think he's the highest scoring defender of all time of all time yeah. which is some feat man yeah, yeah. some feat leadership captains well, which comes with uh, captains uh, armband for Chelsea um, yeah this is someone who I think again longevity of when he was a kid in the uh, Chelsea team to the time he left it, uh, won everything he could. What I will say, which is maybe internationally doesn't quite 
step to where Mal, uh, Maldini did. did. Did Maldini win? Runner up in the World Cup. Runner up. Yeah, he didn't quite win anything though in the in the end internationally, did he? But I guess probably went further than John Terry did. I'm willing to give it to, to Maldini. I just felt like I wanted to give I a think, shout out. I to think JT. JT is very it's as you say, it's kind of blighted nowadays by kind of him. Everything else, but yeah, definitely. He was unreal. And you, you know that like they don't make him like they used to. I think he is an element of he was just all about getting on there and just putting himself in front yeah. of the ball like yeah. that classic one where for England where he's like <laughs> diving down with his head yeah. Um, yeah okay then uh, left back I've gone Roberto Carlos um, I just thought safe again safe but also like highlight wise you're talking about iconicness as well which I think adds a little bit into this the outside the foot shot yeah he is, is iconic him yeah. but he is, is him he is the second best Brazilian left back of all time though you go for Marcelo? Yeah, 100%. Five Champions Leagues. Ooh. Again, wow. this is my team. And when I think of when I think of a left back, I, Marcelo, I've seen the highlight reel of him a million times. All those touches, his ability on the ball, how he got forward. I think Roberto Carlos is far more iconic because of the goals he scored, his look. And I think he's a joke of a player, easily in the conversation top three. But I think pound for pound, Marcelo is a better footballer. I think he's achieved more. Wow. You just won the Copa Libertadores. Yeah, well. he's yeah, done yeah, everything. Yeah. How many trophies has Marcelo got? No, Someone pulled that up. It's nuts. I mean, obviously, I know Carlos won the, the World Cup, the big one, but yeah, yeah. that's eight games. Which is a big know. one, but it is a big one to have in your locker. And I think when you look at stuff like this, that kind yeah. of does... I also think it's overrated. Does Really? Massively. Well, that's another video it, topic. There, are, there is a slight argument to say he's more of like a... It's seven, eight games. He's more of like a winger yeah. <laughs> at yeah. times as well than, yeah. a, than an out-and-out left-back. Yeah. Uh, just before you say your one, I guess a couple of other names. Uh, oh. Patrice Evra. No. no. Ashley Cole. I have Ashley Cole Do you? as a potential. Oh, I, oh potential. This, this is another one where I was going to decide in the moment. I yeah. had Carlos, Ashley Cole, Marcelo. I actually think oh. Ashley Cole. Wow, <laughs> look at this. I think, I think Ashley Cole... The problem is that his career drop-off is also like, mentally bad. So he'd gone mm. to Roma where he didn't even get a game. <laughs> Go to America where he was, didn't even look comfortable. And then he was at Derby. Mm. Do you know mm. what this, that's what I liked about the Philip Lahm shout. Just went out on top, didn't he? <clears throat> yeah. like 34, yeah. I can't bother anymore. Yeah, One. true. Yeah. It is, it yeah. is very true. I, I think Ashley Cole, at his peak, I mean, there's highlights of him just you know, with Ronaldo in his pocket. Oh, yeah. For yeah. England. Um, Ashley Cole was next level. And the fact that he did that controversial move and lived up to every expectation possible mm. at Chelsea, I think, for me, he's a... I'm kind of with you on Roberto Carlos. I'm going to go with Marcelo too. But I think Ashley Cole is, is close. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to go for Marcelo. Wow. Marcelo, Got Marcelo in there. Done me. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm I think, surprised. I, think I like that. I think he's a better pure left back than Carlos even like Carlos got 70 goals and 102 assists in 527 games in Madrid, which is crazy. So that does show that he, he was pushed a lot further forward. He's, he is more of like he Marcelo did set the playing like print. ten at times for Real Madrid. Oh, I don't know. Marcelo, it is. Oh. Marcelo, it is. Yeah. Take okay, it. fine, fine. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all of these positions. Um, now, what I've done with the midfield, so we can kind of get a bit of var var variety. Um, I've gone, for, we've gone for a DM, a centre midfielder, and a centre attacking midfielder as well. Um, so more of like a ten per se. Uh, who doesn't necessarily fit the person I've put there? But anyway, uh, <laughs> DM. N'Golo Kante. Kante. I just think, like, we will never see a player reach the level of N'Golo Kante ever again. We might see someone do it in a slightly different way, quite possibly, but what N'Golo Kante did for maybe not necessarily the longevity of some of the guys that are also on this list, because obviously he's now playing in Saudi, uh, picked up a bit of injuries towards the end of his career, but he redefined the DM position of, and like went for, as I kind of mentioned previously. I mean, he redefined like, it. Like, Makaleli was doing pretty similar kind of things. He just. Not with the to... ball at his feet as compared to N'Golo eventually. N'Golo was a further forward kind of, played further forward than okay. Makaleli um, and won that ball up high up the pitch and allowed it, like, played it perfectly to the, to the next person to take it forward. Um, and so, yeah, I just think he did it better than Makaleli. Yeah, I agree. That is kind of the, the way I, I looked at it. I, I've got either Kante or I've, Xabi Alonso, I think, as a senior. Oh, yeah. Xabi Alonso is a nice shout. They're just completely different players, though, aren't they? Yeah, Xabi Alonso is yeah. more but, of a distributor. But go to what we were saying about, you know, Kante's last few years have been bad. He's now in Saudi Arabia. Xabi Alonso's CV is one of the most incredible of all time. And now he's a fucking amazing coach. I just love, I love Xabi Alonso. No, he's I think. If, it was, if this was like who I love, then I'd be picking Alonso over Kante. But I agree. 
for him to have gone from Cayenne to Leicester to help them win the league, to go to Chelsea, revolutionise that midfield. For that, what, five-year, six-year spell, best central defensive midfielder we'll ever I see. don't mm. think he got enough trophies. <clears throat> like, for, for the level that he was... He, if you look at it, it's a lot of runner-ups, especially like FA Cup, stuff like that. Um, mm. Did get the Champions League, obviously got the Premier League. And then you look internationally, World Cup, Euros, you're laughing on that front. Yeah. Um, but then when you compare when you compare his trophy hall to like the likes of some of the others in this list, he's like, needs to almost triple his to, to match it. But still, I can agree with Kante. Who have you gone for, John? So I'd like three notes. The first thing that came to him was Busquets. Mm -hmm. The second was Rodri. Maybe still, you know, got a little bit of work to do. And then actually, because of the sad news of Beckenbauer, I was thinking about this. I know he wasn't a DM, but I was like, how good would he be? Like from what In I heard DM. about Franz Beckenbauer and what I've yeah. seen people say about him as a player, you know, because he played that sweeper role, right? yeah, yeah, which yeah. I think now a sweeper would effectively obviously push in between the centre-backs and it'd probably be up in the middle into DM. And that's where I was thinking, wow, that would have been amazing. So I thought I'd mention that. But I just, I, I had Busquets. I did have Busquets. Busquets is a very good shout. I just thought... He's not what I picture as an out and out DM. I like someone who can go through someone. You want that proper like enforcer, but I mean, what a joke of a player. Busquets. What a joke. Doesn't get anywhere near the much credit as he deserves for all of Barca's achievements in that midfield because everyone goes Chabby and Iniesta. Busquets was always there. Busquets probably <coughs> Busquets or Kante. I'm gonna stick with Kante. I'm sick of Kante. I don't hate the Kante I think Busquets is a good shout. I think Busquets is a really good shout. Did Kante properly play DM at his peak? I guess he did, but he changed. He was slightly different. I always yeah, thought of him at Chelsea in that sort of like midfield. in between. Yeah, because it was almost, but it was almost as if like, to a degree, it's almost as if the DM position has kind of, sorry, the, the destroying position of like winning the ball back has yeah. gone kind of further forward from the DM. Yeah. And now the DM is a guy that like passes it and distributes it everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe more Busquets-esque. Um, but yeah, I, well, Kante's going in, lads. I get, I've got, uh, I've got to get one. Him. I've got to get one. Um, Centre midfield. So, who have you gone for, Henry? Um, just to be... Yeah, it's, it's tricky to figure out who's a CAM and who's a CM. But I've gone for Iniesta um, in this position. I just think... It's hard. It's chalk and cheese between him and... Is that the phrase? I don't know. Between him and Xavi. For me... Chalk I'm, and cheese is like completely different things. For me, well... Okay. Similar. <laughs> I'm wrong then. Yeah, but um, it's it's really hard to differentiate the two. I personally just enjoy Iniesta more as a player. I think some of his passes, his ability to unlock defenses. I mean that they both arguably could have won a Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Um, which is is is. I I don't know. Just for me, the way that Iniesta plays, I just preferred it. So it's fair yeah. enough. Uh, fair enough. Um. So I've got two suggestions here that I'm thinking of. So I had Xavi, because uh, I was he really was the the beginning of the tiki taka and the way that that this football kind of ended up dominating the world. But I've also got Kevin De Bruyne. Is he is he? Because I've got Kevin De Bruyne at camp. Does that is that I, mental? I don't know. It's early. It's you've gone early. I it's think, it, but it, it, I've yeah. got a bet I, for me. I I would put Kevin De Bruyne just for my cam. My cam played further forward. Then I think De Kevin De Bruyne did. They were quite similar, maybe. Um, who have you gone in oh, your centre midfielder? Yeah, see, I've gone Jude Bellingham. No, I'm joking. I've gone uh, <laughs> uh, soon. I have Zidane. Okay. I have Zidane. In my head of my team, the way I built it with, we know we've got Kante now, and then it would be Zidane. And then I've got someone playing sort of next to just in front of him. All right. So well, let's all right, let's do these positions at the same time, because I think it's we've got some cross here. So my centre midfield and my cam. So for these two positions, I've got Xavi, De Bruyne, and Zidane. Those were, so Zidane I had in the cam position. Yeah. Where do you... Okay, I have Iniesta. And then it was a toss-up to me between Steven Gerrard and Kevin De Bruyne. In... You love Stevie G. I, he's, if Steven Gerrard had left Liverpool earlier on and gone to a Real Madrid, then we would be talking about him as one of the greatest agree, of all yeah. time. It's just because he stayed at Liverpool, and even they did pretty well. I... Love that man. Did he win a title? He, he didn't win a title, but... He Which I think is quite he did, something, He did put man. in an all-star Champions League performance to win the Champions League. Yeah, he did very well. That very first goal, didn't he? The header. Yeah. But, like, I think I think Kevin De Bruyne is better than I'd, Steven Gerrard. See, I'd say... I, I, yeah. I, 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 and I, I, I That's not... I think, I think Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne is, is the best amazing. midfielder we've ever seen in the Premier League, uh, in my opinion. I think, I think De Bruyne has to go in. My team would be Kante, Zidane, and I'd have Maradona. 
an attacking midfielder. Yeah, that's what I do. And I know that you're saying you haven't watched him and I know you're saying oh, I didn't play. No, 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 but he is that's amazing. exactly it is a bit, no, no, but like, he is also he like, has I have to be in my team, team and that's where I'm putting him. You know, that's where I'd have him in this team. So Mar- I know you I know you don't have him. Okay, but and what, I understand the parameters of like I didn't watch Maradona play. Is he a play. cam? Is he a cam? Maradona's no, more like a centre forward. forward. He's that's more like a centre forward. Like we can put him into. Trust me, when you know he's playing, no, he'll sit up. He'll, he'll do a job. Kevin De Bruyne and Zidane have to be in the midfield. Zidane has to be in the midfield, and so does Zidane him. has to be in the midfield, and so does Kevin yeah, De Bruyne. Zid- no, <sighs> Kevin De Bruyne has won. I don't think Zidane has to be in the team. Oh, I don't think Zidane has. to I'm be I'm sorry, in the team. this is recency bias from Kevin De Bruyne as well. He's unreal. He's a joke, he's so good. but. And he's just done really well against Newcastle and we're all sitting here going, he's no, no, the, no, he's the no, best no, no, ever. No, his no, it's not, his it's not, it's his numbers in are outrageous. insane. So he's Kevin playing in to be the... I think for me, De Bruyne is better than Zidane and I do not think that's a mental shout. I think Zidane has more cult status because De Bruyne plays at Manchester City, one of the most boring teams of history. <laughs> but they are still like... The way that they've churned out titles, now won the Champions League, you cannot take away anything. Zidane's done it internationally though, bro. Like, yeah, I know what's... the French squad is better and I know... So Belgium had a good squad, man. Belgium picking... had a good squad. You're going to pick De Bruyne. I think, I think sign. game by game, game by game, I think De Bruyne puts up is, mm. I think Zidane has those moments. And yet, obviously, Rolls-Royce, to be clear, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no like, close, yeah. there's no wrong or right answer. This is just opinion. <sighs> Me, every game, De Bruyne does more than Zidane. And I think he's been doing it. Can we agree just have them both in our midfield? Centre midfield, centre attack midfield, I'd, I'd have So what, we've just been in off um, Iniesta? Or? Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne is better than Iniesta. Zidane is better than Iniesta. I tough. Okay. Okay. No, no, if you did. I look. I'd have Zidane and Iniesta. I'd have Zidane and Iniesta. I'd have Zidane and Kevin De Bruyne. No, I don't. I don't think so. We I don't can't think get this perfectly. What's agreed. De Bruyne done for Belgium? Oh come nothing, off it! Nothing. Nothing. He's done in a golden generation. It was a golden generation as, in terms of playing devil's advocate. Not massive country, Belgium. Not massive. They're, and oh my god, they're Roberto doing amazing. At, they're do, he's doing amazing at Man City with the best manager of all time, with the best squad of all time. Oh. But also, like, I love him. I'm just playing. The, I'm just playing the other. Well, you side. Could say that about any Spain Barcelona had the best. Spain had the best squad. Yeah, you like, can say that. But France had an amazing. Iniesta squad. scored the the World Cup winning goal. Iniesta's not making it. I don't think he can make it. Well, I've picked Iniesta. If you've picked Iniesta, then I think that's two versus one. Okay, so, so then... Zidane. Zidane's two versus one against KDB. Okay, it has fine. to be Zidane fine. over KDB. Fine. I, it, so fine. KDB and Iniesta. Sorry, Zidane and Iniesta. Sure. <sighs> I feel bad for KDB. But I oh don't. well. I don't. Zidane and Iniesta. We'll put Iniesta in centre midfield. We'll put Zidane at CAM. Now we're on to the front three. Let's just do them generally. Um... Right wing Messi. Have we all got Messi yeah. right wing? Yeah. Okay. I don't think we need to talk Simple. about Simple. Yeah, don't need to touch upon it. And Ronaldo as well. So Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo, striker? Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Okay, so left wing for me. Interesting now, we might get onto the Maradona stuff here. I've gone for Ronaldinho. Uh, and, okay, and, I was hoping and, someone would do that. And there is just a level of icon yeah. Yeah. that he has that is unattainable to some of these guys, even though they're already in this team. Um, there are better Brazilian left wingers. There, for instance, I would say that um, Maradona is better than uh, Ronaldinho. Yeah. Did, did, Maradona, did, Maradona, Maradona, did he play on the left? Not necessarily. Oh, I haven't got clear. Um, <laughs> I, but, just, I, just, I just love but, him. I love yeah. everything about him. Ronaldinho is like a pure, skillful dribbling. And also like, I think because people talk about his skills so much, I think they forget about actually how creative and... Um, how much of a goal scorer he was as well. Mm. Like, he had every asset you could possibly want. Okay, did his career kind of, again, like a couple of the players, maybe, and obviously how he ended it, I think he was uh, ended up Fluminese, went back to Brazil. Uh, uh, Monero. Uh, Monero, there we go. Yeah. But he did just, ca- he kept playing for as long as he could, that's going to happen. Prison ball. Plays prison, prison ball, ball. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah literally. Um, I think he's got to be inside. I think he's got to be in the attack. Just he, for the iconicness of how great he was. Yeah. He's not my left wing. He's your left Neymar. wing. Neymar. You think Neymar's better than Ronaldinho? I think Neymar is a better footballer no. than Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho's more iconic. No. But Neymar's Brazil's top goal scorer. Neymar's done, it, Neymar's done it for longer. Neymar has had more iconic performances. He, he played better in games, in big games, than Ronaldinho did. Neymar... Neymar is criminally disrespected because he went to PSG and everyone's like, why has he done that? But, I mean, Neymar is the best Brazilian left winger of all time. Ronaldinho no. is 
iconic, I if you ask Neymar himself, are you better than Ronaldinho? He would say no. I don't that's know. A if that's a respect thing. True. Neymar yeah. would, in his own head, say yes. <laughs> no. Neymar, how many goals Where? does Ronaldinho have for Brazil? I don't have that. Number Neymar's the goal. record but, yeah, goals. No, goal. you are right. I, I, I Neymar, just think Neymar the last doing this five years for Neymar. But Neymar was six sixteen on YouTube highlights with a no, with was. a mohawk for Santos. He was winning them the league. <laughs> he was, this, and he did amazing at Barcelona. At Barcelona, he was ridiculous. incredible. Yeah. Then he went to PSG at what twenty? Still been pretty good. But six, still been good. Five years. But OK, he's been pretty good. He's not won the Champions League for them, which is the whole reason they bought him in. Come on, he's not, mm. mate. He hasn't. He made the Champions League final. He didn't. He didn't well, beat Bayern. Neymar have the same amount of Champions League, surely. I would have to check. I'll check that right check. now. I'll check that right now. I'm pretty sure Ronaldinho. Um, well, while you're checking, I'll just throw out my name that I've included. Go on. One of my top three favourite players of all time, Pavel Nedved. So, I mean... Pavel Nedved. Shut up. Come why, on. Why are you telling me no, shut up? No, come Kemed on. Kemed Ronaldinho. Ballon d'Or winner. Unbelievable. Like He shouldn't have won that Ballon d'Or, though. Why not? Because it should have been Henri, right? Yeah, should have been Henri. Yeah, but it should have been Henri. Well, tough, tough, <laughs> tough. Yeah, <laughs> same Champions League. You're right. I thought you were going to say Henri, and I was going to no, have I'd actually, it. I'd actually, I don't know. I just, I just decided to do something different because I thought we'd all pick the roughly the same players. I think maybe it could be Maradona. In all honesty, um, Neymar I'd actually forgotten about, but Nedved I think is that 2004 Czech team is one of my favourite teams of all time. So, I mean, um, yeah, amazing player, but. Yeah, maybe not the Come best of all time. Okay, yeah. I'll, I can't put Ronaldinho... Decide. Sorry, I can't put Neymar in over Ronaldinho. Why? why I will allow to put Maradona over Ronaldinho. But what, why can't you put Neymar over Ronaldinho? I just think he... I think the Who's had the better last... career? Ronaldinho. Won the World Cup. It doesn't defi... We it can't... We've got to yeah, stop doing it, this World Cup But it does make thing, a big... Yeah. It does We've got to stop doing no, this World Cup No, but it does Cup make thing. a big impact. There's about... 15 Argentinians, I couldn't tell okay. you their names. One of them's on Boris sure. Bench. It doesn't mean he's had a better career <laughs> but, than Neymar. No, no, I agree. But he also, like, you're you right in saying Neymar has obviously got the most goals uh, for yeah. Brazil in the World Cup, you know, uh, for Brazil. That is fair enough. And look at his luck but at World Cups. The, but, in terms of like, but in terms of on the international stage at the highest competitions, what is, what, where did they get to? They got semis? But, that's the, semis but Neymar was the talisman Always. to those teams and pretty much every World Cup he's been injured. That's again... So someone, that's part someone, of the issue. Well, he can't control that someone's nearly paralysed him in a issue. game. That's part of the issue. Like that is that is part of the issue if you've not been able to 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 be there for your country. And I and I also think Ronaldinho's Brazil team is the greatest international team of all time. There is, whereas yeah, Neymar was carrying some, some terrible players in Brazil yeah. squads at point. I think I think Ronaldinho as an icon has a he's is more, a iconic more iconic than Neymar. Player. He's more iconic, but that's not what we're doing. Best player. Who am I Best picking? Best player in their position. I, in their prime. Do I want no, like? You're gonna so you're gonna put. I I love Ronaldinho. I'd take Bale <coughs> in his prime, left wing over. Who? Gareth Bale. I'd take him in his prime over Ronaldinho. Not in this team, but in terms of you talking no. about Gareth Bale. No. I'm, I'm all not his, no, not over Ronaldinho. I actually Come had on. Ronaldinho as well. I was gonna back you up, but I'm not sure you can. Ronaldinho in pure in full. We're talking about at their peak performance level. I, I think I, just, I think I love him. I just think it's overrated. Zach, you decide. It's your show. <laughs> exactly. It's Ronaldinho. Exactly. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho is going Can in. Can I there. just say for striker, it is the fact we just brushed over our like the original R nine. Uh, yeah, Ronaldo. yeah. Obviously, Cristiano like, Ronaldo's uh, foot, striker footballers, now. Footballers, footballers, they often yeah say oh, of course, Ronaldo yeah, Nazario. Yeah. Like they but, often say him. So and I think his body had held up a bit better. Yeah, yeah I think that's um, partially. Like, and, and Ronaldo, like, there was an argu there's an argument that Ronaldo for left wing as well, but I think he goes in at the striker. Um, yeah, he's just done it for so long. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, for Real Madrid, Man United, Juventus even as well. Messi is Messi. Just been amazing his whole career. Um, no Maradona. Would have had him in uh, cam position. Yeah, I'd have, adjusted him. I'd have him in cam over Zidane. I'd have him just sitting behind Ronaldo. Yeah, I'll put Zidane in the mid. I'll put Zidane in the mid and we put Maradona in cam. And then, so who we... So Iniesta who, gets gone. Fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> this, this show's gone off. Okay. Yeah. And no Pele. Ah. Uh, we just didn't know. To be fair, like, at least Maradona, I've seen more. Of, yeah, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. Pele. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we have it. Um, let us know what your team would have been. The best player in every single position of all time. Relative to you let us know in the comments below again thank you so much to henry hill and john for helping me out for this video their stuff will be 
uh, on Twitter and Instagram. Go check them out. You can do that right now. If you've enjoyed the video, then please smash the like button. If you want to see more, then subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought of this extra video on a Monday. I'll try and do that as well every single week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.